Hello friends, my name is Pranay Pandey and in this OIBase video tutorial we will see how to set up OIBase in your IntelliJ IDEA IDE for development purpose. So for that, first of all uh, there is a document on OIBase wiki and that is to set up IntelliJ IDEA IDE for OIBase framework. You can follow the instructions, it's a step by step guide to set up uh, Gradle and then uh, to set up your project in IntelliJ IDE for development purpose. I have followed the instructions and set up uh, Gradle and then uh, it actually tells how can you check out your project from version control in uh, your IDE only. Uh, for me actually I have already checked it out from OIBIS website uh, and uh, it's already there on my box. I'm talking about OIBIS release 16.11. In my case it's already there. You can do SVN info, you'll find the details here. So what I'm going to do in IntelliJ is to import the existing project or existing source from existing source actually. So I'm going to import this project and then I'm going to say Gradle import project from external model I'm going to select Gradle and going to say next and then this is the most important thing you have to only say use default Gradle wrapper it's the recommended one and then finish it. Once you finish it, uh, there will be some processing which will be, which will be done by the IDE and uh, you'll need to wait for some time. In the, in the meantime, let me tell you how did I check out my project from SVN. I used OIBIS website. Here I have the SVN repository location. I have checked out release 16.11 using SVN CO from here. So I simply checked it out on console basically here I ran that particular command and the location I'm checking out the project from SVN repository that is there. So let's go back and see what's happening in IntelliJ. You'll get this detail Gradle project data to import you have to select all and then you have to say OK all the 57 modules will be selected you have to say OK. It's going to index uh, all the required things you can see that updating indices all the indexing will be done and your project will be set up web frameworks have will be detected if you want you can configure it here once your project is uh, set up you will get gradle option here and then you will be able to see that it has already been configured so you can open up gradle options from here at any time if you would like to run a Gradle task you can do it from here like if you want to run Gradle wrapper clean you can right away select it from here and say ok it's going to run that particular task for you so there was one target let's run one more now let this time let's build it you can see that as you start typing in you get all the possible targets or tasks that you can run with Gradle, you will get the list. You can select these and then say OK. You can see that the project is now building. So this is how actually you won't need to go back to console for running the Gradle tasks. You can right away do it from IntelliJ IDE only and it enables you for efficient development using OIBase. It's for release 16.11 and the same settings are actually going to work for you if you are going to work in OIBIS trunk. OIBIS trunk can be checked out uh, from SVN in the similar fashion. You, you can get the details from here on from OIBIS website. You can check out trunk framework and then trunk plugins with these URLs, for, URLs to SVN repository that has been given here. So this is how you can uh, check out your project either right away in your IDE or uh, you can do it on console like I did and then you can set up your development environment and uh, you can run those Gradle tasks right away from here and uh, you will be all set to go. And one more thing I would like to mention here like uh, as it this project is uh, checked out using subversion so all the settings related to version control systems version control system 
is also enabled here you can see that all the local changes are being shown here I can create patches from here uh, I can see the diffs or I can create patches and I can submit those patches to Ibizira if I would like to contribute back to the project or I can manage things uh, with the help of the pro project basically and this project is going to work in sync with subversion so at any time if you would like to upgrade your uh, project or you want to synchronize your project with a subversion you can do it and you can update your project you can uh, make commits if you are you are Oibis committer you can uh, handle all these things from here only so all these settings are going to enable you to be efficient from the Oibis development perspective so this was a very uh, quick overview and uh, that's all for this video in the next video uh, we'll see how to configure Oibis with MySQL database until then I hope you guys have a great day and uh, thanks for watching